Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will cover move commands. Now this is the agenda. We will cover caps, navigation, copy paste operation, create command and move command. Now first is caps. Suppose if you want all the file in uppercase, you need to type caps caps on, this is the command caps on and hit enter. Whatever you write in the file, it will be converted automatically to the uppercase. Now if you want the actual format, then you need to type caps and then off, caps, off, hit enter. Now if you write in uppercase, it will be in uppercase. If you write in lowercase, then it will be in the lowercase. So next is navigation. So it is similar to scroll option. Like if you scroll the mouse inside a file, it will go up and down. But here we use keyboard. Like F7 is for up, F8, command, F8 function key is for down, F10 is for left and F11 is for right. Now, if you want to go to the extreme bottom of the file, like to the last line, you need to type M in the command line and you need to press F8. It will take you to the bottom of the line. And if you want to go to, go to the extreme right, like extreme right column, then you need to type M in the command line, press F11, it will take you to the extreme right column. Now next is copy paste operation from one member to another. To copy operation from one member and paste operation in another member, we use C, C and uh, we type cut in the command line. Uh, C is for single line, C, C is for block of lines. Whenever you write cut in the command line and hit enter, all the blocks which you have selected using C commands or CC commands, that block will be copied. And open the another member then and write paste in the command line, then write after or before and hit enter, then the, then the lines will be pasted there. Now next is create command. Create command is used to create a new member. You select a block of lines using C or CC command and you write create command in the command line and hit enter. Then that block of lines will be copied to a new member. It will ask for a new member name, enter the new member name, hit enter, all the selected block of lines will be copied to the new member. Now next is move. move command is used for moving the lines from one place to another. Suppose if you want to move a single line, type M for single line and MM for the block of lines. Then from one position to another, you need to type A and B accordingly. Now it is similar to cut and paste in Windows. So let's see all these functionalities practically. We will start with caps command. In mainframes, whatever you write, it automatically converts to uppercase. We can control this functionality by caps command. This functionality is active by default, but you can deactivate this by typing caps off. Let me show you. I am opening the PDS. Reset. I am writing a line here in caps off mode. When I will hit enter, it will be converted to uppercase. Here you can see this. This is in lowercase, but uh, after pressing enter, this has been converted to uppercase. So I want to disable this functionality. I will go to home, the command line, press enter again. So I will write caps off. So now I will write again. I'm pressing enter. Still you can see this in lowercase only. Now we'll start with F7, F8, F10 and F11. F7 is to go up, F8 is to go down, F10 is for left and F11 is for right. To scroll down, we use F8 and to scroll up, we use F7. So I'm scrolling down, pressing F8. So again, and this is bottom of data. If I want to go up, I will press F7. I'm pressing F7 again and again. So it is going page by page. To go to the extreme right, I will press F11. So this is the last characters. And if I want to go back, 
to extreme left, I will press F10. All these commands will go from first page to second page one by one. Suppose if you directly want to go to the last page, then type M in the command line and press F8. So here M and I'm pressing F8. So I reach to the last page. This is bottom of theta. Similarly, M can be used with F7, F10 and F11. So if I want to go to the top again, I will write M and I will press F7. So it will take me to the first page. So we are at top of data. The file starts from here. Now we'll copy from one member to another. In our previous video, we have seen how to copy and paste in the member itself. Now I will show you how to copy paste from one member to another member. If you want to copy from one member to another, then select a line or block of lines using the same C or CC command. C is to select one line and CC is to select a block. And in the command line, you need to write cut. So I will start from this line, tutorials point two, the second one. So I'm selecting this block, CC. I'm selecting till 10th line, CC. I'm go to command line, right cut, CUT cut. Enter. On the top right side, you will see this message, nine lines cut to default. But it actually behaves like a copy. It is not cutting them from test one member. Now I will open test two member where we need to paste this. Start. I'm opening another screen, 3.4. I'm opening the same PDS but we will paste in member 2, I mean test 2. Open in edit mode, reset. In the command line type paste, P-A-S-T-E and then after this line. So we need to write A or we need to write B, B for before. So if you write B, it will be pasted at the same location. So I'm pressing enter. So here you can see from line number 2 to 10. So four lines have been pasted, oh, not four, nine lines, nine lines have been pasted. So, F3, so this member is saved. Here also you can use F7 and F8 to scroll up and scroll down. So F8 is end, I'm pressing F7. So now we will use create command. In this scenario, we copy from one member and then we pasted it to another one. Sup and, and this second member was an existing member. Suppose you want to copy from a member and then paste it to a new member. Like the member will be created by our create command only. Let me show you. So it's in use because we have opened it in another screen. I will press F9. I'm going to another screen. So here uh, it's it's open in uh, the first screen itself. So let me copy this. We'll copy from 11th line. CC, we'll use the same command to select the block till 16th. Go to home, I mean command line, press create. Now enter. So on this screen, you need to give the member name. So this is our PDS name. To give the member name, write in brackets, test3. Close the quotes. You can give the member name here also. So it's optional. You can use this as well as you can use this. When I will press enter, the test3 member will be created. Let me show you. So here you can see the message member test3 created. So we'll check, go to F9, we need to refresh this, REF. So here you can see the third member we just created now. Open in edit mode. So here you can see from line number 11 till 16th.
I'm pressing F9 going to the first screen you can move a line or block of line inside a PDS by using move command with the combination of after and before or you can use M for single line or MM to select a block suppose I want to move this line these two lines this is in caps of mode and this is in lowercase MM I'm selecting a block so this is the first line this is the last line I want to put it after the 16th line so I will write a so command is select a block so this is move command and we'll be pasting it after 16 line I will press enter and from here the lines have been moved to this line so this is after 16th line so for single line also we can do this suppose if I want to move this before this line so I will write B here so we have selected one line using M and I will press enter so here you can see tutorials point tutorials point in a data set whenever you want to edit a line it will overtype the existing word so I'm pressing F7 okay. suppose if I want to write something here I'm writing demo so it is over typing this suppose if I want to append this line then we can press insert key in the keyboard so I'm pressing insert key in the keyboard I'm writing www so here you can see this is appending in the beginning so if I want to append here I will write www so once I press enter then this functionality is again disabled so again it will start over typing this will not over type on any word till you press the enter key once enter is pressed it is back to normal this is all about move create and some basic commands in the next video we'll see how to move or copy the members directly from one PDS to another without opening and we'll be covering some more useful commands.